tornado. And that gives us 2 rand 75 cents. So this 2 rand 75 cents per share is the average price. Meaning each share is worth of 2 rand 75 cents. But the company paid 3 rand. So you see that the company suffered a loss here. So the share is worth 2 rand 75 cents. But the company paid 3 rand and 5 cents. So the share is worth less, but the company paid more. So the company suffered a loss. So now, the principle here is share purchase is always limited to the lower of the purchase price and average price. So let's go repeat that. The share repurchase is always, guys, it is always, this is the principle. So we have to stick with the principle. So the share repurchase is always limited to the lower of average price and repurchase price, meaning between the two you take the lowest. So the lower between the two is 275 cents, the average price. Therefore, here, the, the number of shares bought to bank you're going to multiply by the lowest price, which is the average price, 275 cents. So now, 200,000 shares bought to bank by the company multiplied by 275 pence, uh, 275 cents, the average price. That is 550. So guys, I told you that the share by bank or the purchase always reduces the share capital. So that is why we put this in brackets. It's negative, so it's reducing our capital. So now, to get the number of shares in each at the end, how do we calculate that? We take the number of shares at the beginning and shares during the current year minus the number of shares for the bank. So 2 million plus 1 million, that is 4 million, minus 200,000, that is uh, 3.8, 3,800,000. So this is 3, 3,800,000. And then to get the capital available at the end of the year, you take the capital at the beginning, you add capital received during the year, you minus the amount paid by the company for share or uh, for share repurchase. So that will give us 10 million. 450,000. So this is how we do it, guys. Thank you.